I did feel quite stressed. I wasn't overly stressed. It was the mock exams that were being sent out to the sick forms I'd applied to, so there was definitely a bit of pressure and stress from that. Um, handling stress, I, you know, I enjoy reading in my free time, so I just did quite a lot of that. I think I was a bit like not stressed enough. I think I was a bit too laid back until the week before, and then I was stressed. Uh, I just, when I was really stressed about a subject or something, I would just revise it and then I wouldn't feel the stress because I'd feel more prepared. I definitely felt stressed, but I think everybody does. So, uh, I didn't, I think I just done what everybody else would do. Just take your mind off it any way you can. So, like, activities, any form, are great because they just take your mind off it for at least a couple of hours. I went quite well. I was quite pleased with my results. I didn't get exactly what I expected in everything but then like some things I did worse than I thought I would something I did better than I would and it was it was like useful to see kind of where I'm at. I felt like they went really well I was really proud of what I achieved I'm just really worried I'm not going to do so well on the actual GCSEs. Um, my mock exams went quite well for most of my subjects um, except for English literature which is my definite weak spot that I'm hoping that I can work harder and get that high target grade. than obviously earlier because we've done more exams now I'm getting into the routine of it but there are some papers that we haven't started um, actually practicing fully yet so, um, in some subjects yes but like I said we haven't finished a course on most of them so not entirely yes and no uh, I made a revision timetable so in that I feel prepared but in other things, just like, we, well, we haven't done all the curriculum, so I think I'll feel more prepared once we've finished everything and we start going over the older topics. Um, for some, what well, is the range really? For languages, I'm definitely below, but that can't be helped because some people have natural talents for some other subjects, but um, for other subjects I'm ahead so I have a wide range. For most of my subjects I am on track. Um, based on the um, grades I got from the mock examinations I am sort of on track or above in some of them um, but I do feel like you've got to take into account that some of the papers we haven't actually done yet so that might go that might change a little bit. For some of them it will go up and for other ones it will go down. And of course you haven't actually finished the course, so it, it depends. Because my target grades are really high, I do feel some sort of pressure, but I know that my family are trying to sort of reduce the stress I'm under, so it's more like, as, you know, as long as you pass, you're fine, you've worked really hard. Um, but I do feel like if I don't achieve my target grades, I'll definitely be disappointed. Uh, yeah, I do feel some pressure from a lot of people because I have achieved high grades in the past and there is a pressure to maintain that as well as having really high target grades where everyone expects you to get that. Um, my parents, they are supportive, but at the same time, they do expect me to do well. Like not necessarily ex excessive pressure, but yeah, I feel pressure, especially from you know having older siblings who've done very well, and it can be it can be a bit of pressure. But I don't think it's for me. It's not too much. <laughs> I think 
like mainly don't stress um i mean a, a bit of stress is okay but it shouldn't be like consuming your life you need to so if you're feeling stressed remember to pace yourself like start revising making notes early so that you won't feel as stressed later and um, make sure you like leave yourself time to relax um have something you can do to distract yourself stress is really difficult to deal with i know that from personal experience but if you feel like your stress is getting out of control to speak to someone it can be like friends teachers um family just any one or two people they can be your like support base and then if you're really stressed just go to them and they'll be able to sort you out um well once you've done something you can't you can't improve what's already done. So if you're sitting in the exam and you're stressing about it, you've already done all that you can and all that you will do. So there's no point stressing about it. If you're stressed, make what, whatever you can do, make sure you do it. But when you've done all you can, you can't stress about it because there's nothing to stress about. I think so. I mean, I haven't received that much support from school yet, but I feel reassured by the amount of um, revision sessions that they're going to put on and all of that. So. Um, in school, uh, yes, I feel quite reassured by the fact we have loads of revision sessions and a lot of teachers have offered help, so I can easily reach out to them if I want to. And my parents, they do trust me to get on with my own revision, but I know I can talk to them when I need to. Uh, yeah, definitely. All the teachers are really helpful in general they um, have revision lessons and they always remind you to revise they set homework that helps you revise it doesn't it's not pointless homework and definitely at home i have lots of support because i know that I, if i try my best that's all i can do um, i think in a way it has so the new specifications are a bit more difficult uh, than the old one there's a lot more content in there the nine to one system is aimed to stretch the top, so I think um, in terms of learning more stuff um, in the same amount of time possible could be causing more stress on students. I think so. I think whenever there's a change, it can cause stress, and more than anything, it's because of the unknowns. Um, so when the new specification came in, particularly with the one to nine grading system, um, there wasn't much clarity for teachers on how that compared to the A through to C grading. Um, so we couldn't then let our pupils know how that corresponded. So having that unknown and not knowing what you're aiming to, I think makes it very difficult for students. teaching wise not through academic lessons but through pastorally through form I have had pupils ask me how they are and I can't really talk about a lot of it but the school has put various things in place for those pupils um, I've just assisted here and there with listen you've just got to start revising early and you've got to start getting an exam time to, uh, getting a revision timetable done the earlier you start the less rushing you have at the end believe me it helps yeah I do tend to get quite a few students coming to me both um, through my tutor group um, and also through subject specific stress in science. <laughs> stuff already up there there won't be a need to rush which means you're a lot more receptive and um, get exam papers go and get the old exam even well these new qualifications they've given us some exam papers look at them see what's changed see how the questions are changing get used to the new wording uh, also ask your teachers if they've got any books also find out if your teachers are doing any revision classes and if they're doing any in Easter or the half term and take advantage of them and take advantage of all that available to you 
and it's all free, it's all what the school puts on and it just starts it nice and early and avoids the stress at the end, it really does. I think it's important to have something outside of your studies, so if it's a hobby or a TV programme or something that you really enjoy, something that you're just, you're not thinking about your, your work and your studies, it's something outside that you can do for a short amount of time. In terms of uh, lesson time, it's about preparing the types of questions that the students will see, so making sure all the content is covered and then focusing on exam technique, practice questions, those sorts of things. Um, if students are stressed, um, the first call to call is usually their tutors. Um, tutors can give um, a load of advice on how to manage workloads and manage stress levels. Um, but if it's particular subjects that are causing stress, talk to your teachers. Teachers of those subjects are always willing to help and offer whatever support is needed. Uh, so there's a very strong sort of support system at the school. We've got different um, areas that the students can access. So I think going to your form tutor would be the first point of call and then they can point you in the right direction. 